Hi everyone, my name is Chelsea Wright and I'm a customer success manager here at Mesmo. Today, I quickly wanted to walk you through one of our pipeline workshops and introduce you to pipeline in general. So I chose this workshop because I thought it was really relevant to a lot of companies in the same vertical as you. This is because this workshop allows you to encrypt any sort of information before sending it to a destination or before sending it to storage. So this is really helpful for encrypting PII information, for encrypting HIPAA related information, or any information that is sensitive in your logs that has to be taken care of before you send them over for storage. So this workshop really runs you through exactly how to set up a Docker container, which will send logs over to pipeline and then to create the pipeline itself. So what I'm gonna show you now is what that pipeline looks like and a few of our sources, destinations and processors. So this is what the finished pipeline looks like. And as you can see here, we have our sources, processors and destinations. We also have a way to monitor pipeline right above the pipeline itself. So we have total ingress recorded and of course total egress. We also can see exactly when information was sent through pipeline and when information was sent out using this monitoring tool above. Some of the sources we have include uh, AWS S3, we have Logstash, the Mesmo agent itself, and Splunk HEC along with a ton of others. We have a plethora of different processors that you can look through and use and destinations that you can connect to and send uh, information to at the end. So let's look at the pipeline related to this workshop in particular. So what's happening here is that via HTTP method and API key, our pipeline is ingesting logging data from a Docker container. This data is then buffered out because we don't need any field that looks like dot buffer. So we decide to drop that field. And then we have also decided that we need to route transactions differently. So you can see that a transaction success is using conditional logic and this JSON field uh, to define if a transaction is successful versus if a transaction is failed. And we route these two separately. So here we have anything that's unmatched or that doesn't follow that uh, pattern mapping to a different destination, which, are, which is our Mesmo log analysis destination. And then we have anything that is failed or successful in this case being sent over to the encryption part of our pipeline. So what we're doing here is we are using a JSON field in order to specify what we want to encrypt. And then we can choose the algorithm we want to use, the encryption key and the initialization vector field um, to encrypt this field to ensure that no data is publicly visible and that anyone who try, tries to look at that data um, just really sees that, that encryption instead. So we do this for the number, we do this for the CVV number and for the credit card name and zip code. And then following this, we're sending our encrypted log with those um, fields encrypted to our AWS S3 bucket. So what does this look like post encryption? So post encryption, we can see that via this event, all of our CVV expiration name, number of our credit card is completely encrypted. And so when it's being sent and stored to S3, um, you don't have issues um, with that sensitive information, right? Just being stored there. So that's really what I wanted to present to you today in terms of pipeline. If you have any questions or wanna get started with this workshop or any of our other three workshops that we have, please send me an email, let me know and I can help set you up. Um, other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day and I look forward to talking to with you soon. Bye.